Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. I am so glad you're here. Today's date is Sunday, January 14th, 2024. In this video, we're going to look at one of the presidential candidates for the position of President of the United States and uh, talk a little bit about how he got called out on it. Apparently, he's been a little naughty. Uh, so let's uh, take a look at a compilation I have. It's fairly lengthy because as I started uh, looking for items to kind of support my curiosity, there was quite a bit to share. So you'll be able to look at it at your leisure if you follow the Facebook link that's in the video description box for this video. Okay, so no secret about it because you've seen it in the thumbnail. We're talking about Vivek, Vivek Ramaswamy. Now, in old media discussion groups, He's called Ramaswampi. And the consensus is on this alt media discussion group seems to be that uh, true supporters of 45, Mr. T, haven't been seduced away from him. There's an appreciation because the man has an absolute gift for not being talked over with uh, abrasive reporters who try to um, derail an interview. He is a master at that. And there's a consensus that he has had some value in kind of doing a little bit of red pilling. And, uh, but apparently he overstepped his role a little bit and got called out on it. So let me take you to that compilation and we'll discuss that and see what the universe wants us to know about his campaign as a result of <clears throat> his little uh, hand slap. <laughs> Okay, so Mr. T called him out yesterday. Apparently, it's come to light that he is uh, billing himself as uh, the one you should vote for to uh, save Mr. T, if you love Mr. T. Yeah. And um, there's a, I have that as part of the compilation here, just so you know, okay? the uh, It's right here in this link you'll have here, unseenwar.com. And uh, that's got the uh, the item for you, okay? <laughs> I loved one of the comments someone had, this isn't mine. <laughs> Vivek is a mega and has just learned to imitate human noises. <laughs> okay, now, um, another one. <laughs> Rich Barris, the People's Pundit, said, Vivek Ramaswamy just made his first big mistake. The timing of it shouldn't be lost on anyone. Men don't want other men to save them. No, that's for damsels in distress, right? And Victorian eras. And let's see. So if you'd like to see how similar his speaking style is to our 44th president, <laughs> that's in the compilation too. And it's worth noting that he does have um, World Economic Forum ties. He's trying to divorce himself from them. Apparently, he uh, has even done some suing. But just, just so you know, okay, he's a, he, co he copycats Obama speech patterns. He copycats Trump. He's had a Soros fellowship. And uh, the consensus is no matter what he's done to try to distance himself from those WEF ties, he still has them. He is a puppet of theirs. Now, he tends to try to talk about himself as if he's a self-made man. And that hasn't gone too well because the man's a billionaire and he came from a private school background. And uh, so that hasn't worked out too well for him. And I'd like you to notice something too, okay? Uh, here he's, he's calling out in January 12, 2021, he's calling out Mr. T before he had uh, aspirations to the uh, political scene, okay? Uh, and uh, now he says, you know, 2024, oh, it wasn't Mr. T's fault. Yeah. Okay, so he talks out both sides of his mouth. So please take a look at that compilation if it interests you. The man is a billionaire. He's made his money in uh, Big Pharma. He, uh, he did some uh, kind of shenanigans with uh, that company. He's now investing in another company that uh, buys shares up in the very same 
um, things that he claims he's against. So he's making money off companies. He's buying stock in companies that are about climate change and sustainability and things like that. Yet he tries to uh, uh, talk as if, oh, it's, you know, he doesn't believe in it. But he does believe in making a profit on it. And during COVID, he backed up apparently the mandates and things like that. So the man's got a mixed past, okay? And again, um, the consensus where I'm reading in discussion boards is true. Um, 45 supporters haven't been seduced away from him. He's had value because he has an absolute gift. He really does for facing tough reporters that talk over and try to um, obfuscate a point that's being made and he just barrels on through. I, I, I like to watch him speak, I really do. But I don't want him with his mixed background um, achieving success in attaining the highest office in our nation. That's just Laura's view, okay? So what I wanna ask the cards, because there are so many ways to go about this, one of the thoughts were is that his entire candidacy has been an act of submission as far as kind of paying back the shenanigans with the uh, his, his big pharma company. And I've got some links that you can read a little bit about that. Um, that didn't really strike me as too much of a concern or too valid because Apparently, there were fines only, not prison time, involved with um, any shenanigans he was involved with, and the man has the money to pay those fines. So why would he conduct a very expensive candidacy and what have you? Um, but it's possible that he has been, of his own volition, um, participating in a 5D chess type of thing. I think he's taking the role that would have been had by the governor of Florida if he hadn't uh, overstepped himself and started to take his candidacy seriously. Because once they turn on Mr. T, <laughs> there's lots of fish in the sea. <laughs> so let's ask the cards. Has um, Vivek's uh, recent statements about saving Mr. T, <laughs> especially with if he gets the vote that would have gone to Mr. T, um, and being called out on it very specifically by Mr. T, now, it's, it's important to notice that when Mr. T comes down negative on somebody, he means it. When he comes down positive on someone, it's usually, it, can be, it can be positive, but sometimes it's just keep an eye on this guy. This uh, response to Vivek's um, shenanigans was very negative. So um, I have no reason not to believe that he doesn't mean, you know, shame on him. He overstepped. And uh, um, so let's see, though, what the cards want to say. Is there any... Um, continuing success to be seen in this current candidacy of Avec Ramaswampi <laughs> to be the uh, Republican nominee. So let's just see what his, what his chances are as the universe sees it on this timeline moving forward. What is he done? How badly did he shoot himself in the foot? <laughs> the universe will tell us. One second, I'm going to switch the camera and we will find out together what the universe wants us to know. Okay, so we would like insights and information about the uh, the um, campaigning and candidacy aspects for Vivek Ramaswamy. Especially in light of Mr. T calling him out for his recent statements and... Um, the kind of tone his candidacy is now taking. So what does the universe want us to know about any uh, viability remaining for that candidacy? Okay, we have the Queen of Cups. Seven of Cups, <laughs> the Tower. <laughs> I'll explain why I'm laughing if, if you don't yet know. <laughs> the uh, Nine of Cups, the Four of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. 
Okay, so what I'm seeing is actually the man is intelligent, tends to be a little self-absorbed. Um, he's pretty pleased with himself, and he hasn't yet realized that his candidacy has definitely taken a turn because of his actions. It's going to dawn on him. But even at that, part of what he's doing has been kind of a, uh, he has been working in agreement with Mr. T to some extent. Now, like I said, he may have started to take himself too seriously and uh, <clears throat> shot himself in the foot, but let's see what the cards, I'm gonna show you the elements of the cards that are making me say those things. First of all, Queen of Cups is what is indicating uh, Vivek, uh, feminine energy, and he does give off some feminine energy, but also can be a little self-absorbed, all right? Um, there's emotional intelligence there, so it speaks to just the overall intelligence of the man, but not to the extent that you would see if this was a one of the uh, suit, the sword suit, okay? So then we have um, another thing telling us more about him is the Seven of Cups, and that's kind of your smoke and mirrors, okay? So yeah, he has been less than honest about his past, his roots, where his money has come from, what his allegiances are. They tend to uh, um, change with the winds and the season, apparently. So he has got that in his background. Uh, doesn't mean that he's not still valued for, especially, like I said, he's entertaining to watch. He uh, doesn't let um, reporters talk him down or talk over him. He's got a true gift for that. So he has value that's been of use to the conservative side of the political aisle. Okay. The tower moment. Yeah, that's for a recent past. That's why I was laughing. So those statements that Mr. T called him out on are, are more serious than he realizes. Okay. That being called out was not part of any kind of like a handshake plan to uh, uh, promote conservative values and uh, the conservative side of the balloting at all. <laughs> He, like I said, he doesn't see it right now. He's still pretty happy with himself. He's pretty pleased with himself. He still thinks he's got some viability um, as a candidate moving forward. This is where I saw um, there's still a possibility of some that he's had and could continue to have some value and use to the uh, conservative side of the party. If you know anything about my personal political views, I am not a party person. I'm a U.S. Army National Guard veteran. I'm a conservative, but I'm not affiliated with either party. But since one party is in no way conservative, you can kind of see <clears throat> where I end up um, being on my values and uh, making decisions about government. Okay. And I hate that word <laughs> because you're kind of giving your rights away with it. So <laughs> anyway, while that's a possibility in the near future, the Queen of Pentacles is showing up as a little more... Um, information about the situation, okay? And it, it is a card of success, but it doesn't look like it's a high off of success, just as kind of like getting back on a more stable footing with political allies, including Mr. T. And the Page of Swords is showing up here. It's interesting that this is the first swords and the swords are tend to be contractual matters, written and spoken word. And the Page of Swords is about uh, truth and diplomacy, okay, very perceptive. So the White Hats kind of know what's going on. Again, they're, if there's still value to be had, they're going to have it. So he's not going to be like, out. Uh, he's not going to be some, you know, um, punchline for jokes and that's it for the rest of the candidacy. But I think his actual, any, any true aspirations that he was starting to try to hold, I think he's going to have to realize or just that he still has some value for the conservative side of the, the uh, aisle, but <laughs> the highest office, no. Okay, 10 of wands, again, kind of a finish, yeah. <laughs> His candidacy is pretty well done as being a viable candidate. It may be a while before he actually steps down or steps aside. And the uh, high priestess is showing up, another. So we've got some major arcanas showing up here. Okay, one, two, three of them. And uh, again, he's going to be part of the uh, the milieu for the uh, Republican candidates, and he does a good job jousting with them and clever put downs and what have you. But uh, his candidacy is pretty well a thing of the past as far as having any true viability. It may still have some use for red pilling and for getting conservative talking points out there, but not for him to actually 
be taken seriously and voted in, as if anybody is where they're all selected these days and have been for decades. Okay, that's another Laura's View thing. I'll stop this uh, camera and get back to you, and we'll do the recap. So Mr. T put out a social media post chastising Vivek Ramaswamy, um, also called Ramaswampy, <laughs> in alt media circles, uh, for some recent statements and um, uh, that he has made as far as trying to garner votes and be taken seriously as a candidate for um, the Republican Party for this coming November. And we looked at a compilation I've got that you're welcome to go back over showing. And within that compilation, you see how he's made his money, what his past is. It's not regs to riches, it's private schools, how he had a Soros uh, scholarship. And, uh, you know, WEF ties are like being in a three letter agency. You can seem to sever those ties, but they don't really ever go away. And so we asked the universe um, if there was insights and information to be had about his candidacy moving forward. And the reason I chuckled during the card thing is the recent past. That was his tower moment. <laughs> the actions that got him chastised by Mr. T were significant. <laughs> He's finished as any kind of a viable candidate in this uh, upcoming election. The 10 shows that, so does the death card. Now that says it's not going to be an immediate change. He's going to stay, you know, doing the, making his appearances and debating and things like that. But uh, his viability is pretty well gone. However, um, he does have an opportunity in the near future to make some agreements that still maintain his use and value for the conservative side of the political aisle. The uh, Page of Swords shows up, diplomacy. So um, because of his true, and it truly is a unique gift, on dealing with um, confrontations with the mainstream media and their bias and the way they'll try to talk over and talk down and twist what you're saying, um, that value is not going away and will still be capitalized on <clears throat> if at all possible. So if the man's smart and he gets uh, some offers that kind of speak to his skill set, which is a unique one, and, uh, and he's not a dumb man, so, He's not done yet. Maybe as a candidate, a true serious candidate for the Republican nomination, yes. But done as far as out of the uh, public eye, no. But in the meantime, if you have not yet been seduced by the man's uh, gift of gab, <laughs> if you've stayed firm in your support of the candidate of your choice, good for you. Don't get deterred. Don't get swayed. And if you do decide to start changing who you value and want to support, do your homework. Okay. That's it for this video. I thank you so much for your time and attention. I do have one announcement after I wish everybody love and light and everything bright, <laughs> which I'll do a little slower right now. So thank you again. And until next time, I wish you love, light, and everything bright. This is the second Sunday of January, and on the third Sunday of every month, for over a year now, we I have hosted a live stream meditation. It's on YouTube, unless I'm in trouble with YouTube, and then I'll make uh, an effort to do it on um, a site that uh, sounds like Crumble or Bumble, okay? Um, I was tempted to cancel the meditation because I feel like to participate, I need to be doing so from a place of peace at the least, and joy if possible. And uh, I have been dealing with helping my um, elderly cat to transition. And if you're not a pet lover, you're going big deal, but it is a big deal and it has been difficult. So here's what I'm going to do. I think if we uh, have a focus for this meditation next week of valuing and seeking best possible outcomes for all of our animal kingdom that share this realm of existence with us. I think that would have some value. And just be aware, um, my daughter has call that weekend and uh, I may have to still end up canceling at the last moment. But if I do, since you know the time and you know the topic, we can uh, join together energetically, whether we have me leading it via live stream or not. Now, if you're new to the meditations, 
And that sounds a little odd that someone that does current events in tarot is going to be doing a meditation. You're welcome to look under the live tab on my YouTube channel. And we've recorded them when we do them. So you can see that they're uh, very positive, very loving, and our energy and our intentions are very well protected so that they uh, cannot be transmuted or hijacked or used in other ways. So uh, to give you a little peace of mind, and they're absolutely non-denominational. We have people in this channel that just come from a um, agnostic, spiritual, or have a partisan faith that they follow, and all are welcome. We're not going to push anybody's faith path on you. I always say during the meditations, if this next statement um, isn't one that seems to have value for you, sit it out, okay? <laughs> so you're welcome to join us, if, especially if you're simply curious or want to see or participate. You get you have free will, and you can decide whether to add your energy to it or not. Now, I do want you to be very um, aware that negative energy that comes into those meditations, just as anything directed towards me or this channel, is always gathered up and sent to our loving creator, the creator of all creators, to be transmuted and purified. And in that way, I'm doing my small part <laughs> to uh, get this realm of existence cleaned up a little bit. So if you do come and you do have malice or, you know, intentional um, evil or, you know, in your in your heart and in your what you're going to contribute, it will be accepted. It will be used, but not in the way you intend. And by letting you know that you're participating in the cleanup of your own free will. That may sound a little convoluted to you. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't and it makes sense. So again, I thank you. I send you love and light and we'll see you uh, for a meditation next week. And we will give our love and our energy and our thoughts to the protection and ascension and all good things, including best possible outcomes for the animals, domestic as well as domesticated, as well as those that are wild in our plane of existence. So they're ready to move on. We just need to join them is my thought. But we'll figure that out as we do our meditation and send them love and light. So again, love, light, and everything bright. Thank you. Yeah.